Illustrators, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our cornucopia, a celebration of illustration, the many splendid thing. Illustration is not illustration because it looks like illustration, it's illustration because it talks to you. And what enables the illustration to speak is context. This humble and encountered art form is everywhere, speaking to individuals individually and collectively. It is for everyone and it is everywhere and therefore its power is immense and its importance vital. Illustration is about um, it, explaining ideas and their meanings, not only representing um, objects or books or stories, but bringing their meanings to life um, and enlighten them through um, different mediums. So it's not just drawings. One particular project, which was called Personification, we um, took inanimate objects and put them in the scenario of, here it is, I think, yep, of the First World War. So I chose oil pastels, and as you can see, my oil pastels are, are quite sad. They start out brave, but it does get a bit bit sad and lonely and that's sort of what telling stories through images does as long as you can make them alive and make them feel. In all our projects really it's up to the student to interpret the brief in a way that seems interesting, that seems um, useful and um, nourishing to them so it's not about we never we never try to box our students into a particular way of working it's very open and we really encourage students to to sort of take ownership of their work and to develop in the ways that they feel that they need to develop so it's very much student-led when i came to wales five years ago it was in response to the advertisement which read we seek an inspirational lecturer in illustration and i hoped that that would be me a brand new course with a chance to form and evolve was so appealing, an opportunity to establish new ground for illustration, to question, to re-examine it, and to move it forward. My main push in the last year, year and a half, has been making links with other disciplines. Illustration is uh, the art of, like film and like theatre, is the art of moving ideas forward, changing the hearts and minds of, of an audience. That's where it lives, in the mind of the audience. And what we do is we use books, visual narratives, cartoons, um, installation. We can, we've got all these things at our disposal. And we don't believe, in, you know, here, um, that, that I, we think that's kind of under, underused, underexplored. For me, it is about making illustration better, richer, more talkative, and to do more in the world. For, I don't know, for as long as I can remember, I've, I've thought that illustration is a very talkative discipline, so one which speaks to many people and that should be speaking, and it shouldn't be quiet, and it shouldn't be mute, and, and in order to find students that want to make work about that, they need to have something which they are interested in, angry about, um, they need to you know, have lots of ideas that are coming from perhaps even personal experience, but something which that they want to speak about through their work. So we look for students who have that sort of energy and excitement, but also how they make that work lighter. So it's about communicating to an audience that you don't know. The most important thing is that we don't meet most of the people who see the work that we do. Just before I close, of course, there's one last thank you. And this is to the students 
Okay, I'm not going to cry. Oh, don't cry, Mina. Um, you are the reason we are here. You are my pulse and my smile, my wonder. Your work and ideas transform and reform my belief in the world and in people. You are soulful, wonderful, and extraordinary individuals. This celebration is for you and your futures. As you go out into the world and hope to make it a better place, I would like to give you now a poem, which we might say is reversible, and you'll see why. I could say to you, and you could say to me. It's by Yeats. He wishes for cloths of heaven. Had I the heavens embroidered cloths, and wrought with golden and silver light, the blue, the dim, and the dark cloths of night and light and the half-light, I would spread the cloths under your feet. But I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. <laughs> 